Hey folks, see you Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very, very important video. Why is this video important? Because I'm sure you might have heard about the recent crisis of the Silicon Valley Bank. If you have read it in the news, this stock lost 60% plus value in a single day. And that is why it became the talk of the town. In fact, people have started to talk about rumors or what I don't know whether we have to call them as rumors or not. But people are definitely talking about a case whether one bank, the fall of one big bank, can it lead to fall of few other banks? And then eventually, could this turn up into something that happened in 2008? But if we were to discuss about that, first things first, we have to understand what was this Silicon Valley Bank all about? What does what did the bank do and what went wrong? These are the first things first and then we will try and conclude what could happen next. OK, so for that, I'm just trying to uh, I'm, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, a big and quick disclaimer is that this is a shoot and release video with zero editing. I am uh, doing this like a handwritten thing for uh, after a very long time. So just in case, finally, I'm a human being. So just in case, if I fumble upon figures, any corrections, if any, I'm going to put that in the pinned comment. So don't forget to check out the pinned comment also, right? Chalo. So with that, let's move on. So here we have the Silicon Valley Bank, which is like one of the largest banks related to P and VC uh, firms, I can say. Okay. Now, what does this bank do? Basically, this bank would give loans to venture capital or P firms. Okay. These v VC or P's would in turn invest in startups. Correct. What could be possibility number two? Possibility number two could be that this bank would directly give a loan to startups. Simple to hear. Now, where would startups keep their money? See, startups are also going to earn some money. Would they also keep their money in some current account? Obviously, yes. And many, many, many startups in US have their bank account with SVB, something like a current account with SVB. Okay, simple to hear. So we have understood that SVB is a bank which gives loans, uh, something to PVC firms, or they can also give loans to startups. And in turn, startups also deposit their money with SVB. Simple deal. Now, let us go and try and understand about the balance sheet position of this bank, Silicon Valley Bank. And I'm going to compare or I'm going to throw some light on key figures. Okay, so first and foremost, let's understand the total asset side size of this bank as at 31st December 2022. Of course, like in India, we present the financial statements as at 31st March. Uh, the, the companies in USA would present it as at 31st December year ended. Okay. So their total size is 211,793. And of course, if you read it on the top, it is dollars in millions. Okay. Out of this total asset size, you can see that almost 73,600 something. La, 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 these are like loans given. Now, out of this 73,614, loans are given to whom? Like if you remember in our previous case, we did discuss that they give loans to either VP, VC or P or directly to startup. So this 73,000 ka breakup, uh, so 70, of course, there's a small adjustment here. You can see it's, uh, so here actually the breakup of 74,250 has been given on the next slide. Okay. So here you can see out of these, a major chunk is loans to global fund banking and this is nothing but something like the venture capital or p funding and that is 41269 so this this can be actually to the tune if you just calculate almost 55 60% is given in this specific area is this a problem no that's their business model that's not a problem per se okay now if i were to focus on one more big figure that is nothing but this 91000 dollars 91000 of course dollars in million that is in securities which are held to maturity so basically held to maturity securities are like long term securities this could be like uh, 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 you know investment in us bonds also okay and long term bonds i'm not talking about short term bonds now understand if i look here you might say it's okay now they have invested in government us treasury or us bonds these are pretty much secure. What is the problem here? You'll not understand the problem here. Problem will come into the next few slides where I go on explaining. So as of now, just keep on this figure in mind that they have they have invested quite heavily in uh, securities, which are HTM, which are held till maturity. Now let us move on to the next slide, wherein we have to understand that if they invested a lot in HTM, 
question is where did this bank get money from so like if if i take you back to the slide as i mentioned how will this bank get money there might be a lot of deposits which flow into the bank and now i'm going to take i'm going to take your attention to the deposits figure now if you see here non interest bearing demand deposits so this is something like in indian terms we would call it like a current account okay this deposit figure is 40,841,570, whatever, but this is dollars in thousands. And very important, if you check out here for 21 and 22, this is dollars in million. Okay, so if I were to convert it into simple terms, in 2019, this bank had deposits like current account deposits to the tune of what to the tune of 40 million dollars. Simple till here. Now, this went up to $125 million. Okay. You might be like, oh my God, that, that's a big jump. Now, you can imagine. If Silicon Valley Bank has almost three times rise in their deposits, what are they going to do with this? Possibility number one, they'll give it out as a loan. Possibility number two, they will invest somewhere wherein they get good yield. Correct. So, they did give out some part as a loan, but majority chunk they invested where now you're able to think is it here is it in htm now for that let's have a look where they invested now if you see here uh, in 2021 if you see here 2021 made total investments if i were to talk about total investment securities this is 127 million dollars out of 127 million dollars 98000 dollars has been has been invested where has been invested in total htm securities now if i were to calculate this this would be coming around somewhere around 75 to 80 percent almost 70 whatever 77 percent roughly okay in htm out of the total investment so if i put here 77 percent roughly okay now is this big is this small for that let us compare this figure with the 2019 figure now okay so let me just hide this so that it will be easier for us in 2019 out of this amount, so just let us understand 29 out of 29 in HTM, it was 13. Okay, out of 29, 13 in HTM and 14 in something called as AFS that is available for sale. Again, in simple terms, I can say out of the total investment, AFS can be like short term. In short term, they had kept 14, of, of course, super dollars in thousand. I'm not reading out the bigger figures. 14 in short term and 13 in long term. Can I say out of the total investments here, out of the total investments here, 50% is in HTM when in 2019 and from 50%, they have jumped to 77% in 2021. I hope I'm, I'm clear till here. Now, one more big question that might have come up to your mind is that why did these deposits jump three times? From where did these uh, maybe startups, where did they get a lot of money from? Or where did these deposits flow into this bank? Basically, if you remember 2020, a lot of money was pumped into the economy. And a lot of, uh, you know, I, we, we generally say that money had become cheap. Why? Because the interest rates for loans were very, very less. So they had a lot of liquidity and this liquidity was pumped into the banks. What did the bank do? Bank put this money majorly in HTM, in simple words, in long-term securities. Now understand a scenario, very important scenario now. At this point in time, the yields were not that high. Okay. And maybe this bank, the, the decision makers who decide where to invest the money, they thought that the yields might not rise very high yields might be flattish and we might get good amount of yields in the coming few years but you know what happened to the yields for that have a look at this chart if you see here this is 2021 this is where we were in 21 somewhere around one percent yield by the way this is a yield for a u.s government 10 year bond u.s government bond 10 year bond one percent yield and by the end of 2022 where are we we are around four percent now imagine if a 1% yield jumps to 4%, what will happen to the price of that bond? Price of the bond is going to go down. If you have been following my channel very carefully, if you have subscribed to my channel, if you have hit the bell icon, I have done a lot of videos on bond markets as well, wherein I've explained the relationship between bond prices and yields. Whenever yields rise, 
bond prices fall down and vice versa so now what happened these the the uh, svc ke jo decision whoever were the decision makers of silicon valley bank they thought that ideally yields will remain flattish but it went against their thought process yields shot up and that is the reason why their bond prices fell down and if you remember major chunk of their investment portfolio of almost how much 77% is in htm in the long term bonds will this lead to a loss and here you can see the unrealized loss here see what happened in 2022 zap everything is in a loss now and majorly we'll see the big loss in h2m htm that is a long term and afs i told you right now available for sale is short term they are also into kind of losses now these unrealized losses were realized and if you see here this is the latest news now this is march 9th news this says svb shares fall sharply after 1.8 billion dollar in surprise bond losses now do you understand why there was a loss in these bonds right and if you remember in the beginning of the video share prices fall sharply if you remember i started with 60% fall this is the sharp fall in the prices of the shares of silicon valley bank now if the bank is in losses what will happen will they have to fill up this loss to fill up the loss they'll have to have more money now for that they tried to raise funds and this is again i have taken screenshots from all the reliable sources okay i have also given you uh, the screenshots i am not, not just telling you the information they tried to do a fund raising but what happened this is friday 10th of march ka news this is just yesterday's news this says that the bank has failed to raise capital and this is leading to a collapse in the silicon valley bank is this very sad absolutely yes and now you can imagine now now let's try to let's try to understand what happened were was there a surge in deposits after covid period yes this led to a fresh inflow in the bank banks tried to maximize their gain and that is why they put into safe uh, government bonds maybe long term bonds thinking that yields will remain constant but the yield spiked up their bond press prices fell down this led to loss to recover this loss they tried to raise capital that also failed and now all those who have their money in svb who has their money in svb i'm taking you back to the first slide if you remember startups all med many startups you can also google it out a lot of big startups in usa have their money in svb now again i'm showing you some news venture capitalists and also the startups now they are saying they are urging the startups to withdraw funds from this crisis laden silicon valley bank we call this case as a run on the bank okay what is run on the bank when all your all or majority of the depositors run to your bank to withdraw their funds now they don't have that much money to give to the bank and that is the reason why now what happened was that the federal deposit insurance corporation said that it has taken control of the bank they have formed a new entity called as the deposit insurance national bank of santa clara and they are saying that now we are transferring all the deposits to the new bank now wait 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 if this is a bouncer first understand i'll just stop screen sharing for a minute so that you can focus on whatever i'm saying okay now understand assume i am a startup and i had my money with silicon valley bank okay now can i go and withdraw my deposit answer is yes but because of the run on bank bank doesn't have money i am not able to withdraw now like in india we have the deposit insurance credit guarantee corporation di cgc similarly will there be something in us also answer is yes like in india we have up to 5 lakh rupees as insured deposits will there be some insurance on deposits in us also and answer is obviously yes and for that again i would want to show you how much insurance is available for all those companies who have invested their companies or whatever entities who have invested in such banks here you can see the standard insurance amount is 2 lakh 50 thousand dollars per depositor okay so like we have 5 lakh rupees they have a standard insurance of 2 lakh 50 thousand per depositor but now understand i also read it uh, on the internet that majority of the investors have their deposits way above 2 lakh 50 thousand so their money is stuck now it will be only i mean we'll have to see we'll have to wait and watch like in india same thing in usa it'll take a lot of time 
आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट दिस मनी इज गॉन डूब गया ऐसे नहीं बोल रही हूं द मनी दे विल बी एबल टू विथड्रॉ देयर मनी बट इन व्हाट टाइम वी डोंट नो इट विल टेक अ लॉन्ग टाइम टू विथड्रॉ देयर ओन मनी विल द विल दिस कॉज प्रॉब्लम टू स्टार्टअप्स व्हाई नॉट assume i was a startup who was saving very wisely and i had put my money in svc in in silicon valley bank i am not able to withdraw my money will it lead to an impact in my organization yes will there be many such startups why not could there be a possibility that other banks might have also invested in silicon valley bank possibility yes and with this the point that i was trying to make this is called as a snowball effect it this small you can imagine a small snowball starting from the top of the mountain it is it is going rolling down 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 and it is collecting snow in 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 that entire phase will that lead to a big snowball that is what may happen is what experts are saying and that is why they are saying because of this one bank it could lead to a bigger effect it could lead to a problem not only in startups in other banks it is said that there are few other banks which may be lined up in such a case so it will be we'll have to wait and watch as to what happens next i hope you have understood what happened in this entire case study why things went wrong uh, i hope i was able to explain in a most simplified manner if you still have any doubts please don't forget to uh, you know raise your doubts in the comment section below uh, and i hope i was able to add some value in your knowledge today if you did please don't forget to share this video with your friends don't forget to smash the like button and as i said this is like a straight 16 17 minutes whatever shoot and release pattern i don't have any scope for editing so just in case if i fumbled on some figure i am going to put it in the pinned comment below don't forget to check that out as well i hope you enjoyed this one till then take care jai hind and bye bye